<laughs> so where does it start? Start. It's it's recording right now, but I can cut all this out. Welcome to the Sense. This is Alex. This is Krista. And we are awkward. We Sorry. We're here. We're here. <laughs> I was going to say thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. We're back. We're back. The last three months, we've been gonzo. And yeah. it's felt like more like three years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three months went by, and I am 10 years older. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've had a lot of new experiences, but we're the same great people. We're great. The podcast <laughs> is the same, but it's it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be better. better. We have some goals for it. Um, uh, what are they? They're the goals are to be better. That's the shining star of the whole podcast. Just a better podcast. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we should try that again. <laughs> I was like, oh. But that was good. <laughs> we are getting back into this. <laughs> yeah, I felt like, and we're also sitting in my bedroom this time, yeah, so yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. that's thrown us off. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need, we need a good space. Mm-hmm. I really think my closet, my closet, yeah. will be the yeah. best. <laughs> like, sorry, maybe I should have came, came over to your place. <laughs> it's okay. Um, hello, welcome back to the Sense. I'm Alex. I'm Krista. And it's been a while, but here we are. We're back, man. Back again. Yeah. Uh, we have, you know, we've we've had a lot of new experiences, a lot of growth. We've changed a lot. It's been three months. But it feels like three years. Oh, absolutely. And In a good way. Oh, totally. Like, we're both older. <laughs> so wise. <laughs> so we're so I had a birthday, <laughs> and <laughs> it's really changed me. No, okay. Not that much, but oh, yeah. a little. And, my... and Krista's birthday's coming up. Oh, yeah. My birthday's very soon. March uh, babies. Yeah. Pisces unite. Yes. Um, <laughs> and... You know, like, I'm just really glad you're here listening to us right now. That's that's really what we need. Right. Our whole fan club. Yeah, our whole Miranda. <laughs> the whole, whole two of them. You know, I shout out Miranda every time. Yeah. <laughs> she, like, is listening and waiting for it. Like, she... come on. Oh, there's my name. <laughs> she texted me about the last one and was like, thanks for all the shout outs. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> that's because you're the only one that listens. Yeah. You and Aaron. Aaron. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> now you can jump up and down with excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Anyways. Anyways. So, how have you been? Tell me a little bit about... So, this is nuts. Um, 2018 came, and I entered a contest to win a trip to Thailand, and was like, haha, like, this will ever happen. It did. Oh, I God. won a trip to Thailand, and I found out a month before leaving, bought a plane ticket, and left for two weeks. Like, that would cause me so much anxiety, honestly. Like, I want to leave the country, I want to travel, but, like... In a month. Like, in a month with no, like... I had my passport already, so, I mean, that wasn't, like, stressful being like, I have to hurry and get a passport. Already had the passport. Mm-hmm. Had a place to stay down there. Had a... It was a yoga retreat that I won this for, so I had a whole program to do once I was there. Just had to buy a plane ticket. And I was like, this is crazy. I, I can't just buy a plane ticket and go to Thailand, but here I am. But you did! I did! And you, like, you owned it! Like, you had a blast, right? Like, oh yeah, tell me. it was nuts. Um, I was a little nervous to fly, or like, just to travel solo, but I did it, and I'm back! I made it alive! <laughs> <laughs> My whole family was like, you're not coming back. I, I, when you told me about this, I for sure thought you were being scammed. Oh yeah, you everybody, were, like, everybody. and like death. there was a few people I like messed with a little extra because I knew the people I won the trip from because I'm a massage therapist and I won it was like a massage therapy group, mm-hmm. so I knew the yeah. people. Yeah, but if you don't know the whole circumstance, then yeah, it is super sketch. So I would be like, yeah, somebody emailed me and told me if I donated some money, I could win this trip. And (laughs) I just, I can't bring anyone with me. They told me I had to go all by myself. Yeah, all I got to do is hand (laughs) my papers, my passport to this guy outside of the airport. They're going to keep safe safe keepings for them. And then (laughs) I'm going to go on an adventure. They're going to show me Not the case at all. (laughs) It was... Legit. It sounds like you're signing up to be adu- abducted. Yeah, but you no. did it. It was good. Yeah. And I'm back and doing good. 
What about you, Krista? Oh my gosh. Okay, so what even happened? 2018 happened. Of course I partied hard and celebrated, like, what? Wow. In I, Portland, I right? I can't remember what I did. Yeah. Um, oh no, it was in no, Vegas. I went to San Francisco. Oh. For Look Cascade. at you, traveler too. You're like, where have you been? I don't know. <laughs> I wonder that every day. No, I I for sure was in San Francisco. And uh, I saw Cascade again. If you guys don't remember, I talk about him a lot. I call him dad. Um <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It makes me laugh. Dad. Dad. And when, yeah, I'm, I was in Portland also after that for something. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the last three months have felt like three yeah. years. Oh, yeah. Uh, but since then, like, I feel like after um, uh, New Year's, I just kind of been focusing on myself and, like, I got a new job. I do something different at work now, which... Means I'm on night shift, which is totally fine. But it's harder to find times to match up for us to do the podcast. Yes, but we're we're gonna work with it. Like, Here we are. Yeah, we're doing <laughs> it anyways. Um, what else is new? I I've been working out a lot. Nice. You know, I've been doing that. Like I said, focus on myself. Screw everyone else. Love yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and what? Like I don't know. Like. A lot have, has happened. I've had random adventures in Portland, random adventures in Seattle. I always love hearing about your adventures. You come home, I'm like, tell me everything. <laughs> and it's just like, I go to clubs and I see artists and I come back and tell Alex about it. Yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Should we tell everyone what our theme is today? Our, yeah. Let's get into it. Okay. So. Can I say my pun first? Absolutely. I believe everybody's gonna love it. Oh man! <laughs> we need to like have the drums like but <laughs> I, I was so proud of that when I thought of it. I was like, oh snap! This one's gonna be spooktacular. Oh. <laughs> All right, Krista, tell them what it is. We're talking about ghosts. Yay! And it's not even Halloween yet. That's just how we roll. Yeah, yeah. And uh, where to begin? I uh, first of all. Didn't bring my iPad that has all my notes on it. Krista's always super prepared. And like when she was like, I forgot my notepad or your ta- or your tablet. Yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm not no. the only one that's not prepared. We're both going to just be speaking from the heart. So. Yeah. We're just going to talk about some ghosts. Yeah. Let's talk about ghosts. So um, do you have any like ghost experiences? So preparing for this, I've been asking people close to me. If they believe in ghosts. Mm. I've always believed in ghosts, so I just assumed everyone else did. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the people I asked were like, oh, no. And I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> I thought that was a hard yes. Like, what? My parents both were like, no, we don't. That kind of surprises me. Right? Honestly, like, your parents believe in aliens. So. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways. That's another one where I ask people, I'm like, yeah, aliens, right? And they're like, huh? And you I'm know, like, oh, aliens, kidding. Bigfoot, he lives outside. <laughs> Jeez, people. <laughs> yeah. Get your facts. <laughs> um, I also asked my brother. He said, nope. But mm-hmm. he had, him and his friend had an experience at my parents' house. Oh, that's one thing. I'm pretty sure my parents' house is not like super haunted, but there's, there's something going on there. You know, I don't disagree with you like i have been your parents house and i don't believe in anything and i was very freaked out in there what is there a certain time or like just walking downstairs it's like got a feel like (laughs) what's very weird yeah but i have a whole nother theory as to why that might be so but you just continue your ghost (laughs) um so yeah i guess i'll tell my brother's ghost story of the house and then kind of go from there so it, my brother wasn't actually there for this story, but he told me his best friend was house sitting while my parents were out of town. And my parents have two dogs. They, they have a Chihuahua and a Doberman. And he was upstairs because my brother's room's upstairs. And downstairs, the dogs start barking. And Waldo, my shout out to Waldo, he, <laughs> like he's ever going to listen to this. But um. <laughs> He went downstairs to be like, okay, the dogs, like, never bark like this. Why are they inside barking crazy? And both dogs were staring at the wall, barking. 
Whoa. Remember my old bedroom, like the long one? It's yeah. the weight room now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they were both just staring at the wall, just like, rah, 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 rah. and Waldo's like, and it was two in the morning. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, hell no. And Waldo was like, yeah, I'm gonna go back upstairs and try to sleep. <laughs> oh my and God. he couldn't fall asleep, and he was just like, oh, man, something's gonna get me. Tonight's the night. <laughs> there... That's such a creepy thing. Anytime animals react in a weird way, it around two me out. to three in the morning. Oh yeah. Oh heck no. One time, my dog growled at the floor, and I was like, I don't know what he was thinking. I'm sure he was probably just dreaming, but like, it really freaked me out, and I couldn't fall asleep. Oh yeah. After that. So, anyways, um, do you have any other ghost stories? Like, I know you have some. I have the reoccurring dream that I told on our dreams episode. So I won't say that one again, but I've always believed in ghosts. Like, I don't think, oh my gosh, I don't think there are ghosts that, like, have sheets over them, like that stupid movie. (laughs) On the way home from Bank, or on the way home, I had to fly to China for one of my connecting flights. So China to Seattle, there was a movie, and Casey Affleck is in it. It's called A Ghost Story, and I was like, ooh, this will be good. (laughs) It was terrible me and krista read reviews online and it got good reviews i don't know how because it was super boring he literally has a sheet over him with eyes cut out like a traditional ghost and each scene is so long and awkward i I couldn't watch the whole thing now since that since you've told me about it and since we read reviews and since we watched the trailer and i know you hate it i i kind of want to watch it i think you should like but i think i might appreciate it as an art piece like, I want to, but I hated it. There was something. <laughs> Maybe if I went into it knowing that it was going to be more of an art piece than a ghost story, I could have handled yeah, it. But it's not. Ugh. It's not supposed to be a scary movie. It's like this ghost guy is traveling through time and experiencing like events related to his loved one, right? Like I something like that. It's more just like each scene was so uncomfortably long. Like they show. The- the they show the girlfriend eating a whole pie and it seriously is like five ten minutes long which yeah. doesn't sound super long but it is uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> and the ghost is just standing in the corner watching her eat a whole pie and then i wanted pie and i'm on a plane with nasty airplane food Ew. and then i was just irritated so there's a lot we could talk about like that because i think you know maybe they're trying to symbolize something like yeah, the I woman's was, eating a pie because you're not there to help her eat the pie. Like, no, I don't think. No, I don't think that was it. Oh, I okay. think she was. It was showing that she was sad that her boyfriend died. <laughs> okay. I think, and maybe there is something more with the pie. Sorry, I give movies too much credit sometimes. And maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe like, oh, you are supposed to be thinking that the whole ten minutes she's eating a pie to herself. And then the only thing I could think of was like, wow, they're not like cutting away from this. This girl legit ate a whole pie for oh this scene. Oh my god. She's like, gonna have the worst stomach ache. She, yeah, exactly. That my would, mind was all over the place. I can't handle movies sometimes. Like, first of all, I don't watch movies. If you know me, you know I don't watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> and but it's rare when I actually want to watch a movie and when I sit through the whole thing. Like that hardly ever happens. I don't think you can sit through this one. Oh damn! <laughs> but now it's like a challenge. Like I can. I want to try. Yeah, I want you to. And but anyways, where was I going with this? Like. Different takes on ghosts? Yeah, yeah. no, not different takes on ghosts, but, like, movies, because, like, I can't think about, I cannot let go of the actor acting the scene out and actually doing the thing. And I'm like, that guy has a life, and he has to be here and pretend to do this dumb shit. Mm -hmm. I feel so bad for him. Exactly. Like, I I have a fourth wall that is never, it's always broken. (laughs) Like, I... (laughs) Just can't let go. Can't get into it. Except for horror movies and scary movies, I get really immersed. And that's, oh, yeah. that's probably why I like them. For some reason, oh, they really yeah. suck me in. Did and... I tell you about my scary dream with uh, the stupid clown from It? Um, no. Oh. Okay. Do we want to talk about that? <laughs> this is all over have. the place. Should I, I, should... We should. I mean, why not? It, and I, I love It. I love that movie. Okay, I've I never love- watched it. I've always seen pictures of it and stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, and my brother's always grown up being afraid of clowns, so we always laughed about it and stuff. Um, and then me and my brother watched the new It in mm-hmm. Vegas, and he fell asleep, and I was like, oh, this is so stupid. I, I don't care. He <laughs> fell asleep. I'm gonna watch it. It messed me up. Like, that clown, 
I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. It's Anyways, the scary clown. So here's the dream. I woke up, or like in my dream or whatever, I'm at my grandparents' house, and they have this staircase, and it goes down into the living room, and so you can like see the bottom of the stairs while you're in the living room, and me and my daughter were in the living room, and toys that she loves kept falling down the stairs, Ooh. and she was like, ooh, I want that, I want that, I'm like, uh, I don't know why they're falling down the stairs, no, stay here. And then another toy, a really great toy, would fall down the stairs. And she'd try to go, and I'd be like, no. And finally, I see, like, the it fingers, like, go across on the wall. Uh! And, like, gr- grasp the wall, and, like, he slowly shows his head around the corner. And I'm like, I knew, I knew it was him. And he was just, like, laughing. And he, like, brought his finger out, and he was just like, how do like I he describe was calling it? calling Ryan? Yeah, like... like um, and, summoning, I guess. Yeah, like, like, he had one finger, and he was just like, come here. <laughs> And then I was like, no, Ryan. And she was like, but look at all those toys. And then I was like, no. And I was like, go away. And then he stepped out from behind the wall. And then he started, like, running, charging us. (gasps) Yeah. And and so I woke up. And, of course, it's, like, 2, 3 in the morning. And I'm Mm -hmm. like, of course. Cool. I love waking up at this time. Not. (laughs) Yeah. And so then I finally fall back asleep. I have another dream about it again. Oh, my God. I know. And I'm at my grandparents' house again. I'm trying to fix my grandparents' like chandelier above mm-hmm. their kitchen table, mm-hmm. which I'm <laughs> I'm the last person Are you that would actually Christian? no, like... I would never do that. <laughs> but in my dream, I was like, oh, I'm so smart. I have to turn off the powers to work on this. I mean, yes, yeah, like go me. <laughs> I know what to do in my dreams, yeah. and so I'm working on it. And then I like look down, and my hands gris- like gra- um grasping the like the electrical part okay because i'm so like savvy with the wording no yeah anyway right. so i'm grabbing something and it's electrocuting me and i'm like but i turned the power off and this should be hurting so bad but it, it kind of is but it's just more frustrating uh-huh. like why are my hands closed around this and then i look up and pennyworth that's his name right Pen- Penny? Penny's something. Yeah, totally. Anyways, yeah. it. Yeah. He was at the, like, switch box, and he's laughing, and he has blood all around his mouth, and yeah. he's like, ha, ah, like, he turned the power back on, and I'm like, ah, and I wake up again, oh and I just didn't God. go back to sleep. What? This is why you need to learn how to lucid dream. Mm-hmm. We talked about this. Like, it's so, you don't have to go through these horrible I know. <laughs> uh, anyways, that was tangent of dreams again. Sorry, uh, guys. No, it's, yeah. Like, I love it. For a lot of reasons, but I've never been afraid of clowns. In the I haven't way either. That That's the frustrating are. part. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. I've never seen a clown in real life and be, like, turned off by it or something. I don't know. I know why, like, scientifically why people are scared of clowns. It's because of their exaggerated faces. And um, oh. it triggers two things. In kids, it's they like it because it's easy for them. They're just learning how faces like look and how it looks when people are happy and sad. So like it's easy for them to look at a clown and feel something because their faces are exaggerated. That's why kids are, like that's like why clowns them, are for usually, cl- kids. Yeah, cows are for kids. But um, we adults don't like it because it's kind of like um, the uncanny valley. Like it looks sort of human, but not really. And that makes sense. That freaks us out. There's a lot of things that freak us out, like androids and robot people and, like, realistic paintings but aren't aren't realistic enough. Things like that. Anyways. Back to ghosts. Yeah. I don't think ghosts are, like, the traditional, like, a ghost and has a sheet over it with a couple eyes cut out. I think it's energy stuck in places. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do I explain this? I don't know. Do you think that when people die, they become a ghost? Not always. I think, depending on your energy, you can be stuck in places. Okay. I don't know. I I should probably research this more, but that's always been, like, my truth in, yeah. in my heart. <laughs> like, yeah. No, and... Energy gets stuck in places, and you can get stuck, because everyone, everything is energy. Yeah. So, when people cite that um, ghosts are real, or, like, you know, the beginning argument is the first law of thermodynamics, which is energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change. Mm -hmm. And that's true, but the energy that people are talking about when they, when ghosts, you know, are brought up is, like, 
uh, like spiritual energy Mm -hmm. and we can't even define that so that's why i don't believe in ghosts (laughs) like Mm -hmm. um I guess it's true that as people, our energy can't be destroyed, but I mean, we get buried and then it be, it goes into the ground. Like Side note, I don't want to be buried. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, me neither, Spread my honestly. ashes. Yeah. I want to be shot up into space. That'd be kind of yeah. cool. <laughs> like, I picture it and it's just like, poof, like a firework in the oh, space yeah. of Krista. I just explode my dead body into the sky. <laughs> Wait, you'd be cremated first, right? You're just, are you talking about, like, oh, yeah. shooting I mean, your body? Sure. No, 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 no cremate Dead me. body, like. And then... I mean, sure, I want my corpse shot up into space, but, like, <laughs> you should probably cremate me first. <laughs> That'd be so much more creepy if you weren't cremated, just your dead body, just. I'm totally not doing that. Yeah, that, I would advise against it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, Ghosts. I don't think they're real. You don't have any ghost stories? I have or... ghost stories, but I know what happened. I know why I thought something was happening. Tell me. For example, your house. Okay. Uh, you probably have shitty wiring and True. electromagnetic fields, I guess is what they are. I don't know. Wires have energy if in them, you know, electricity going through them. If they're not shielded well enough, it can get in our brain and cause us to feel things like paranoia. Wow. Yeah. That's a good explanation. <laughs> so. I never thought of that. So I sleep in my closet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sounds way weirder than yeah. it actually is. I know. No, but I love saying that. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's the coolest so, setup. And so, okay. So I sleep in my closet. Closets are not meant for sleeping in. <laughs> I don't know if you guys well, know let's this. Let's backtrack. <laughs> Krista has a walk-in closet and her bed fits in her closet. She's yeah. not just like. I, putting a pillow in her closet no, no, no. and shutting the door. Yeah, no. I created, like, a cave. Like, I have, like, a whole thing going on. I have a fan. Like, it's really nice in there. It is a great setup. Yeah. It's really comfy. Anyways, um... When so you have I, weird wiring in your closet? So I think that the wall that separates my closet and my roommate's closet is not, like... It's not, like, padded or not padded. I don't know. Maybe they're... Insulated? Insulated, yes. It's not insulated or... And, you know, wires go through there. They probably do because, you know, no one was meant to sleep in there. (laughs) Who would sleep in their closet? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So, when I first started sleeping in my closet, but it also might be for another few reasons, I was feeling very paranoid and feeling very, like, I'm being watched. Mm -hmm. I'm... Or, like, I need to get out of here sort of feeling... Not necessarily because of something. That's just, like, the the general, like, thoughts going through my head. And I was thinking maybe it's because that this is a closet. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's a small space also. And the door was closed. And that was kind of hard to get over at first. But now I love it. Now I'm like, lock me in there. I'll, <laughs> I'll sleep for days. <laughs> Krista's cave. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, I don't know. That's... I still believe in ghosts. I want to. Like... I want to believe. I want to... I used to, like, um, follow all these ghost hunting shows or, Oh, I want to believe those so bad, but I don't really believe the ghost hunting shows because they're on TV and they have to get ratings. Yeah, totally. They're produced to be scary. But I love them. I love them, too. And I love the idea of there being something discoverable, like something Mm -hmm. that we don't understand yet is still out there and we don't have... Or catching something like footage. Yes. Like having proof of something is just so exciting. Um, I honestly really love listening to uh, ghost voices on like... Oh, I hate that. I love them. Because like you can hear whatever you want, Mm -hmm. but sometimes... It sounds so creepy. It's so legit. Like, Mm -hmm. I want them to be real. I love ghosts. Like, I just, I don't think they exist. Like, I can't think they exist. Mm Mm-hmm. But I want them to. (laughs) Uh, Another thing that's kind of related, or like, so I don't believe, like, you remember John Edwards? He, like, talks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't believe that. Um... I do think there's ghosts and, like, spirits and it's energy, like, trapped energy. But when he does it, like, again, I loved that show because it was like, oh my goodness, how did you know? Me and my mom would watch it mm-hmm. and just be like, Whoa. My parents used to love that shit, too. Everyone did. It was such a, like, hype. Anyways, mm-hmm. he, I've seen it, um, I don't remember what show I was watching, but they were, like, explaining how people do that and they just, like, it's grasp cold, at things. It's cold reading. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's a, it's really easy. It's a really easy skill yeah. to learn. I think if you're in sales or if you're in retail, you do it all the time. Oh, yeah. And you don't really know that you're doing it. It's the same idea, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, cold reading is bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, what's that guy's name? Randy? Shit, I can't remember. He's a magician, and uh, he actively debunks people that scam other people. Mm-hmm. Um... He had a show. There's a documentary on uh, Netflix called An Honest Liar. You should watch it. Ooh. Because it's about him and uh, in the late 60s, early 70s, and 80s, like uh, for many decades, he was on talk shows and um, people would come up and like claim they have supernatural powers and he would debunk them. Mm -hmm. And I'm really sad that I can't remember his name. (laughs) But anyways. Um, I do think... Like, ghosts and spirits are real. And, like, this is kind of, again, with dreaming. But sometimes at night, I'll wake up from a dream and I feel like somebody's been staring at me. Yeah. And it's the (laughs) freaking creepiest thing. Because I'll, like, put my blankets over my face more. Like, that's going to protect me. And I'm just like, oh. And, of course, I have to wake up, like, 2, 3 in the morning and that happens. And I'm like, well, there goes my sleep for the night. (laughs) I, I want to, cause I have those feelings every once in a while and yeah. like, I want to be like, trust your gut. But I know that like my gut can be influenced by things. Like if I'm stressed out during the day, I'll off or well, it's during the night really. Mm-hmm. And I sleep during the day. Like I'll wake up and think that something is happening for some reason. Yeah. Um, now what so something you mentioned was like energy and how it exists like it can't be i don't know destroyed or something so a lot of times when people talk about ghosts or hauntings really yeah they say that it's residual energy from a traumatic thing that happened do you believe that uh, i want to like that's it, i was going to bring that up too yeah that actually makes it you know it makes sense to me mm-hmm. but also like I'm not a physicist. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I, there's a lot about energy that I don't understand. But, you know, if you think about it, like, there was a mass murder in a place, and then, um, you know. So is it just your subconscious knowing that something happened there, mm-hmm. or is it the energy of that event? Yeah. What I would like to do is go into a place that I wasn't told the history of and You'd see still... how I feel. Yeah. And honestly, if it's an old place, I'm going to be creeped out. (laughs) It doesn't matter what happened. It could have been like, oh, there was a great party here and everyone had a good time and they all went home safely. But like... (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) Just kidding. Everyone died. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. I think I heard this on Joe Rogan's podcast, but it was like he was talking about that that same thing. Residual energy. Yeah. And he was saying like in like Gettysburg and stuff. Yeah. And he was like you can just feel it like there was a war here. But it's again, he you know, you I don't, know I there know. was a I'm, war there. I'm torn, but I I still think it is the energy. I I like that. What I like about it is us connecting with people that we've never seen or talked to. Mm-hmm. You know? Like I like it's empathy. It's just we're actively empathetic about anything. Yeah. that's happened. And, you know, like uh when it, if you go into a place and you're told about the terrible tragedies that went there, you should feel bad, and oh. you should like what? Yeah. Like, so when I went to New Orleans, this happened. Um, Nolans, Nolans, <laughs> and anyways, the hotel we were staying at, they were like, oh, because we were asking about ghosts, and there's like a whole ghost tour and stuff, but we didn't mm-hmm. have time for it. Mm-hmm. Um, but we asked the lady that was at the front desk, and she's like. Uh, we've heard people like see ghosts in the ballroom area and we're like, oh, take us up there. Will you please? And she like unlocks the door or like we have to go up the, up to the ballroom area. So you take the elevator. That immediately makes me think of The Shining. Oh, yeah. I've never actually watched that movie, oh, but I've read the book. One of Really? Yeah. Oh, you're so much better than me. You read books. I'm so sophisticated. <laughs> Just kidding. And I kind of cheated. It was an audio book, but it was oh. still really good. <laughs> I love The Shining. One of my most favorite movies ever. I, maybe I'll watch that. Okay. Um, anyway, so we take the elevator up to the ballroom, and we're asking her, and she's like, I don't know why you girls all want to come in here. That's real weird, but okay. And we go in there, and again, I don't know if it's just because 
she said that people have seen ghosts here or if mm-hmm. it actually was a feeling. And then she starts telling us, like, oh, this is where, like, girls would be sold off, um like sex slavery or whatever yeah. and then it was like oh wow it's <laughs> got real dark. i don't want to see a little sex slave girl <laughs> oh, ghost no. yeah and then it was like really depressing but it was a weird feeling um i think there i forgot if there was more to that. oh there it was so we're leaving and then we're like she's like i don't want to be here and she's like one time I had to, so they check um, the hotels regularly because it's off of Bourbon Street and they want people like going in there and passing out. So they have to check the halls and stuff and make sure that it's just um, people who are actually paying to stay there and there. Uh And so she was checking it late at night and there was no one on the floor and she gets to the, (laughs) she gets to the elevator and then she hears running. And she was like, oh, no, I just checked. And then she's like, oh, hell no. And she starts pushing the <laughs> elevator and she's like, I don't get paid enough for this. I'm not going to go see who's running around. <laughs> Absolutely. And it could have been somebody in the hotel, but I want to believe it's a ghost. <laughs> she seemed was, pretty certain. If it was somebody in the hotel, then she just let that person stay the night. Probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was just like, I don't care. Like, it's you yours. Yeah. Hope you're not a ghost. Hope you're not a homeless person. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah. Um, my mom has a lot of ghost stories, but like, I don't know. I, it's, I've always listened to them and whatever growing up. Like, she's told me a lot of them, and it never really got me. Like, never, never believed any of them. Out. No, I never really believed them. Um, I'm trying to even think of one now. The only ghost stories I know, honestly, are the ones you've told me. Like mm-hmm. that one. <laughs> I told you about the New Orleans one, or yeah. Yeah. yeah, you did. But, hmm. I love ghost stories. Um, I have a hard time looking for new ones because I have trouble sleeping at night. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'll think of all the ghost stories I know then and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No sleep. So, I know I don't believe in ghosts, but like... What would make you 100% believe in ghosts? Uh, seeing one, for really? sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. If you saw a ghost, you wouldn't believe in it I still? I don't know. I don't know what it would take. It would have to be very real. I would have to know that I'm 100% sober, uh-huh. that I have gotten at least nine hours of sleep, uh-huh. that I have not eaten anything with strange mushrooms on it. Yeah. Like, I would have to be in a place that I frequent and I know, you know, what what's around because I would think that maybe it was like a projection or maybe like... Dang. It would take tough a, crowd. It would take me a <laughs> lot. <laughs> I would see like a shadow and be like, they're real. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> I know. There's just so many variables. Like, I just, I don't know what it would take. Like, a ghost would have to come up to my face and be like, bitch, you're haunted. Oh, man. Like- <laughs> Do you remember that show that was on MTV? What was it? The, it was on MTV and they got paid to go in places that were supposedly haunted and they had to spend the night there. Yeah. Stupid. They had, like, and it's on MTV. set up that was like looking right at their face. And yeah. I was always like, you have to walk around with that on. That's so awkward. <laughs> it's so awkward, but you know I'd be scared as I'll get out. I, like, I've always thought that if I got on that show, I would just camp out in a room for the night. And I'm I would leaving. cry. <laughs> I would cry and I'd be like, I'm breaking the rules. I'm finding you other guys that are here with me. I can't do this. I would be a mess. Oh, man. I, I would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny to see That's both of they, us on that show. I'd be, like, I'd be like, where's the hide? And I'd be, be like, like, Alex, shut up. I'm sleeping. <laughs> You're being noisy. You're <laughs> scaring the ghosts. <laughs> That's probably why I would never get picked for anything like that. Because I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm boring. I just don't care enough. <laughs> I would be the white girl in the scary movie that dies first. Like, let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the one that survives till the end, but I'd be like, ah! Yes. Dang it. I don't know what I would do, but okay. Ugh. Anyways, that show. Yes. I think it was on Reddit. I was reading. I got lost on Reddit one night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they Love were. Reddit. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and so I got lost on there reading, and there was a ghost story from. What was that show called? It's going to drive me insane. Uh, and it had. I remember the theme song always creeped me out too. Anyways, I'll figure okay. it out later. Okay. So they were saying that they were on that show. Mm hmm. 
and they went to this house that supposedly the guy would kill children there oh. and like skin them oh my god yeah <laughs> wow maybe it wasn't kids maybe it was just people i don't know maybe i'm making this worse you it does sound very sad and scary. yeah sorry guys um anyways so they were supposed to spend the night in this house of what's po- or maybe it did happen i can't remember this sorry this is terrible details you guys That's anyways cool. so apparently two people died on the show Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I would have heard about this. But then I'm like freaking myself out in the middle of the night just reading these stupid Reddit stories. And then then my time goes into looking this up. um, (laughs) See if these people really died on the show. Oh, God. Anyways, in the story, the girl that won, the one girl that made it out. Having a foot cramp. She got a journal mailed to her. Oh. Yeah, because one of the people that died in apparently got scalped or something and there was like a little bit of hair on this notebook and it was a leather notebook oh no 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 in the notebook it said um glad you made it out safely (laughs) yeah and so i don't know it's probably definitely not real but still i was like scarred i was like again not sleeping tonight (laughs) i was reading um this short article about somebody's book collection it was like a rare book collection and which I am fascinated with. I love rare books. And uh, they tested some of these books um, because they had leather, like leather bindings. Yeah. And uh, they were like, oh, I wonder what animals these are. Oh, no. They were people. Uh, where <laughs> so was that people. at? It was an article, someone's private collection. Yeah. They had taken it in to get them tested. And uh, yeah, they're no, they were people. <laughs> That's disgusting. I know, but they were like really old. Like, so it's totally okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These people, I'm this thinking is... that they were dead, you know? And like, they were just people. resourceful. Like... Yeah, they needed to get their book bound. <laughs> Jeez, no. They didn't want to Some use creepy... the horse skin. That's my blankets. Like, <laughs> people are useless. <laughs> so... Look, we made, a, we made a book out of Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I want to be a book when I'm dead. <laughs> But then you can always have stories inside you. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to be skinned when you're dead and then shot up into space. Oh, I'm, oh yes! And then I want people to write stories about me in my skin. My skin wow. book. Wow. This just is so weird now. <laughs> I'm down for it. This is Where's my your Krista book? Will. <laughs> your like, great-great-grandchildren are like, get the Krista book out. Yeah. It's just stories about her getting drunk. <laughs> Oh, she partied with dad. <laughs> that would be so cute. A this story. is so morbid. A story about me partying with my future husband. In a named dad. His name, his name is dad. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, Anyways. So what do you want done with your body? Um, I'm going to be cremated and... I think I'm going to be planted with a tree. I love that idea. I love That's that idea. That's totally you. But where but would you put the tree? I know. I don't want anybody to cut me down. Hell also, no. I'm not super good at gardening, so what if my <laughs> tree doesn't make it? <laughs> um, That'd be sad. Luckily, someone else can care for your tree. I don't want that stress on someone. That's why. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. Kind of weird. But oh, no. when I had Ryan, mm-hmm. um, I wanted to use the placenta and bury it with a tree so that the nutrients would make this tree grow. <laughs> but that is one of the most hippie things yeah. I've ever heard in Let's, my life. It's a it's a step it's a few steps above eating my placenta like you better as placenta. not eat it. You didn't eat it. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Uh, <laughs> I made or I had placenta pills made out of my that's, placenta. That's so I didn't chew on it. I mean I right, just, right. Swallowed you just it. swallowed it. And then you know what it was already in you. Yeah. Before. So placentas are so cool. It's the only organ that you grow and then you don't have anymore. Exactly. They're so weird. Yeah. I held my placenta. Oh, it's fucking gnarly, man. I know. I can't believe you were pregnant. It still blows my mind. I, me too. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to plant my placenta with a tree, but I didn't know if I was going to live at my house forever. And then what if I had to move and I was crying because my placenta tree is in the backyard? And then how do I describe that to new owners? Like, like, can you take care of my placenta tree? And they're like, this lady's weird. We're not buying the house. That's what exactly are we going to find? A, leather, a skin leather bound book in here or something else? Anyway. What did you do with <laughs> yeah, I oh thought that God. would kind of yeah tear people from that's, buying my house. That's an also, one. what if the tree 
died and then I would be upset like is this a bad omen for my child um, yes <laughs> yeah so so I didn't plant a tree with my placenta you just ate it I just ate it you know like a normal person no, I told you about placenta lasagna right oh my god did I what <laughs> okay. no <laughs> okay uh, to clarify I did not make placenta lasagna please tell me more <laughs> but I know a couple that made lasagna with their placenta because apparently you can get nutrients from the placenta, so they I'm ate sure it. I'm sure you could. Most of the people I know makes, or no, I, not that I know, but stuff I'd read while I was pregnant was you um, freeze the placenta and then make smoothies out of it and stuff so you can get the nutrients. Okay. But still, I thought, like, what if, what, just like that one, what if I get something chewy and then I'm oh, like, yeah. oh god, no. But pills are the way to go. Pills are totally the way to go. Um, okay, so this lasagna. Like, mm-hmm. how did they include the placenta in the lasagna? Was it part of the I sauce? didn't ask details because they weren't, like, I wasn't super close with them. Mm. But this is what I'm picturing. Like, you know, the noodles are, like, the layers of noodles. No. I bet they did placenta no- layers. No! Yeah! Ew! Yeah. How, like, okay, this is a total different podcast. <laughs> Our topic is ghosts today. <laughs> Just but... kidding, it's placenta lasagna. <laughs> Got you guys. <laughs> My God, I I want so bad to talk more about this, and honestly, we should another time. Sorry, um, derailed, but it's all right. We. <laughs> oh God. Okay. What more do you have to say about ghosts? Do you have anything else? I believe they are real, and I don't really have anything else to say. I'm gonna keep okay. up looking ghost stories because it's entertaining. What's your favorite scary movie? My favorite scary movie. Um. I don't know. You go first. Really? Oh, okay. Uh, shit. <laughs> I, I like a lot of scary movies. Um, I like Insidious. Oh, that I messed like, me up. I like The Shining. Um, I I like the first Saw. <laughs> That's not Ugh. a scary movie. I don't like any other Saw after that. Uh, so many. Okay. <laughs> the Ring, I really liked. It was kind of dumb, but it... I, wa- I remember watching it in the seventh grade and okay. being scared for so long. It really okay. left an impact. Um, I haven't seen it. <gasps> what? I'm pretty sure. It was- okay, so when we talked about dreams, uh, uh-huh. you mentioned that, and I had said, <laughs> Do we sure, have this exact I remember. Oh. No, no, I actually, I told you I remember The Ring, but I don't because I've never seen it. But there's a lot of movies I haven't seen, so... Okay, you're forgiven. But <laughs> okay, thank you. it takes place in Seattle. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, is it because it. it's a Japanese yeah. original? Okay. It's originally a Japanese movie. They remade it, American version. Yeah. And it's super good. It's kind of cheesy, but I don't know. Um, I don't feel like I need to watch it. I think you should. Okay, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> The grudge also messed me up a little bit just because the girl creeped me out, but I didn't really... Oh, Cabin in the Woods. Wait, is that like a campy one? Like, yeah. Um, so I watched that in the theater. Oh, yeah. Oh, so the scary. One, but like it has the twist at the end, right? I forgot the twist. Is it... Can you describe to me the movie you watched? Because <laughs> I don't want to spoil Cabin in the Woods if it's not the one you watched. I'm never going to watch it because okay. I can't handle so, that. So, like, the people are in the house and then they, they get haunted. Or they, there's they something summon. in the basement. Yeah, there's something they in the fi- basement. But then later they find out there's a whole facility of things and that it's actually, they have to die to prevent the world ending. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen this movie. Oh, dang it! <laughs> it's so good! <laughs> I'm never going to watch Cab- it, though. Oh, okay, but I don't watch a lot of movies. This movie is awesome! I can't handle scary movies by myself. Well, I'll be here with you. Someday when I have a boyfriend, maybe I'll watch it. Okay, fine. Oh my god. Make a list of scary movies I need to watch, and like someday when I have a boyfriend, just hand the list to a boy and be like, "You have to hang out." We've got a to do list. (laughs) Um, honestly, same. Yeah. (laughs) Next, next boyfriend, please help me watch scary movies. We're gonna make a list right now, and when we get boyfriends, (laughs) we're gonna watch so many movies. (laughs) Okay. Until then, I guess no scary Netflix. movies for us. No. <laughs> Netflix. Netflix documentaries, it is. Um, there's this good, a uh, really good scary Netflix documentary that I don't suggest you watch, honestly, because it's really it's is it about, real. It's about yes, it's about sleep paralysis. Oh, 
No, no. it's no. not worth it. Honestly, like it's. I don't so want to start good. that again. <laughs> it's so good, but I had to stop watching it because like the sun had gone down, and I was like, no, this is. I have to watch this during the day. Yes. <laughs> like. Oh, good, that's though. another one. Paranormal Activity. Oh, I, I, don't, I honestly love the paranormal activities. Yeah. They're good. They're so suspenseful. Yeah. Um, I like the realism. Uh-huh, me like, too. I like the whole, like, found footage feel. That's something thing. that happened. So, when I was trying to think of ghosts for this ghost story, me and my old roommates, one roommate was in Hawaii, and so she hadn't been home for a few days. Mm-hmm. Um, me and my other roommate, we watched Paranormal Activity freaked ourselves out like yes. what's wrong with us so yes. of course we had to watch the notebook to finish <laughs> Ew. yeah basic <laughs> anyways so we watched the notebook so we calm ourselves down and go to bed our one roommate that wasn't home her alarm clock goes off at three thirty three in the morning no she set that shit up we didn't tell her we were going to watch that. Oh. She would not set that up. Oh, three. We both three, woke up crying. Oh. Yeah, we had to shut it off. And I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we got to move. We got to <laughs> move. And after we'd watched Paranormal Activity, like how nuts. No. How nuts. That's not okay. So we turned the alarm clock off and we both locked myself in our room. Or like one room. So we're sleeping in the same bed and we just talked and we we're like, I don't know what's what's going to happen. Jesus Christ. I know. And it was like, it wasn't the night she left. She, like, we'd been in the ha- or in the apartment a couple days without her. Yeah. So it's not like, I don't It was just the weirdest thing. Oh, God. How did I forget that story? Jeez. That's a good story. I know. <laughs> Paranormal activity. That, like, ugh. I do like that movie a lot, though. Um, I like, oh, something that I used to like about ghosts is I used to be obsessed with Vlad the Impaler. Wow. Yeah, I just picture, like, seven-year-old Krista. Like, oh, it definitely was. <laughs> Wait, how old were you? Like, in elementary school. Oh, my gosh. Do you remember the library? No, because you didn't go to Hiawatha. So, there was a library in uh, the, the library in Hiawatha. It was, like, a super old building. And there was a section way in the back. Oh, of course. Of, it was the paranormal section. and like, That's so weird to it, have an elementary school. It was very weird. They were like setting it up for me to be a weird kid. They're like, oh yeah. <laughs> Krista is she's already really awkward. Let's make her freaked out all the time. <laughs> like, so I would just go back there and look up all this weird stuff. And I found books about Vlad the Impaler. That's and, the creepiest thing. And there was one in particular that should not be in an elementary school because it had graphic descriptions yeah. of like... Like, you know, just general torture things. Oh and my gosh. So, but you know, I was into it. And like, I had a fascination with wanting to go to his castle in, um, I'm pretty sure it's Transylvania. <laughs> like, I don't. Uh, because he was an inspiration for um, Dracula. But anyways, he, like, you can go to his castle and it's supposed to be like super haunted, like portal to hell type haunted. And I wanted to check it out. Really bad. But wow. my mom told me no. <laughs> mom put a foot down to that. <laughs> yeah. And, like, um, I still want to go. I think it'd be cool to travel to that, you know, Eastern Europe yeah, yeah. sort of scary time thing. Like, that'd be those would be some cool ghost situations. Totally ghost there. So much history. Yeah, so much weird, like, very tragic history, but still, like interesting i remember this ghost book that i read in elementary and like a bunch of kids would check it out from the library because it was like oh they were definitely not real but it was like it had a skull i think yeah i know what you're talking about what was that called scary stories oh okay uh i'm pretty sure it's called scary stories i really want to look it up but i totally know what you're talking about i don't remember any of the stories from there but i just remember like renting it and being like oh my gosh i'm gonna read this and then i was like i'm not gonna sleep (laughs) They're scary stories to tell. The in the artwork dark. really, yeah. No, maybe just scary stories. Um, I remember the artwork really freaked me out. Yeah, it's kind of gross, right? Yeah, like, it's so like disturbing for an elementary school kid. Yeah, that. Yeah, scary stories to tell the to tell in the dark. And Is it has it that one. Yeah, it's like kind of like a skull, but a guy with a he's pipe in his a mouth. Pipe, and he's also a. Ooh, should we tree? read one? Do you want to? Yeah. We'll okay. end with a scary Ooh. story. Ooh, okay. Um, is it a poem or is it like no, a short story? No, it's like a story? short. It's like a short story. Do you want me to read it? Or you want to read it? I. We should go back and forth. <gasps> okay. Okay. Um, let's find a good one. Hold on. 
Uh, We're looking for a scary story from this book because I think it'll be a good way to end the podcast. Hang hang in here, guys. Yeah. We're going to tell just a little scary story and then... uh, and then we'll talk about what our plans are for the week. And then we'll let you go. Okay? We'll, we promise. <laughs> okay. You're held captive. <laughs> you have to keep listening. <laughs> okay. You got one? I'm near it. I'm near it. So close. Okay. I got one. It's called um, The Puppy in the Basement. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Mommy told me never to go into the basement. But I wanted to see what was making that noise. It kind of sounded like a puppy, and I wanted to see the puppy, so I opened the basement door and tiptoed down a bit. I didn't see a puppy, and then Mommy yanked me out of the basement and yelled at me. Mommy had never yelled at me before, and it made me sad, and I cried. Then Mommy told me never to go into the basement again, and she gave me a cookie. That made me feel better. So I didn't ask her why the boy in the basement was making noises like a puppy or why he had no hands or feet. Yeah! Why, no! why did we rent this that book? That was not a good one. No, what the hell, Krista? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just went for it. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on, one more. We can't end with that shiz. Oh, there's Everyone someone under the bed. It. Oh, okay. Part one that's like... Scary yeah, that's like, um, I lay in bed and I put my hand but down there and my dog always licks yes, me. Yes, this is what I was thinking of too. <laughs> oh my God. This story messed me up as a kid. Okay. okay, yeah, so um, this guy, he always comes home and he lays down in his bed to go to sleep and he puts his hand down for his dog to lick him so he knows he's there. And then uh, what happens? So <laughs> every night he does this, the dog licks his hand. And then, so he dog was licking his hand. He goes to the bathroom in the middle of the night and he looks over, and the dog is dead in the bathtub, and he's like, oh my gosh, what licked my hand? And he looks back at his bed, and there's a guy under his bed. Yeah, and then he dies, probably. I, I don't know. There's probably more <laughs> to the story. I just remember being like, okay, note to self, never hang my feet or hands over the bed again, because the creepy guy's gonna lick my hand. Oh, I have another good one. Oh, tell it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, um... Uh, a man wakes up because he hears his son crying. Mm-hmm. So he goes into the room... And the son's like, uh, daddy, come here. And then he looks away into the hallway and he sees his son standing there. And he says, daddy, don't go in there. The <gasps> boy's in there. Oh, heck oh! no. <laughs> oh, goosebumps. <laughs> your, your daughter's going to do that. What the heck's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's like, okay. I know we keep going off on stories, but there's the babysitting one. Okay. Do you remember that one? No. Uh, oh shiz, now I can't remember it. It, it like, messed me up on babysitting for a while, especially, like, when there's two-story houses. So, the girl is babysitting. I'm gonna mess this up. I'll have to tell it next time. <laughs> <laughs> Any stories? Babysitting. There's a girl babysitting. Dun, How dun, dun. horrific. And she couldn't hang out with her boyfriend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bummer. Yeah, sorry guys, that was that was bad. <laughs> it's really it's creepy okay. in my head, but I can't remember all the details, so I'm just not gonna tell it. <laughs> Another day. We can probably do a whole thing on scary stories. We'll collect that our would be a good one. terrible ones. So we have plans of doing a uh, dad joke podcast. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna do scary stories. Uh, I have an idea for Aaron and I to do a podcast called Depression Connection. Ooh. Where <laughs> just <laughs> Sounds lovely. I know. Um, I just want to just be like, it's like a no fun allowed type podcast where we only Aww. talk about terrible things. But it, it'd be funny because like, it's like things that aren't really terrible. Yeah. I don't know. I have an idea for like okay, a joke it's in the type works. thing. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, anyways. What do you have for the goals? Goals for this week. Goals. Goals. My goals. So I am making a piece of artwork for my new massage room. Very cool. Yes. I'm excited for it. Still going strong with the henna. Doing Heck lots yeah. of henna. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start practicing with my left hand so that my right arm has some henna. I tried the other day and it turned out <gasps> That looks good. great. Yeah. It's, I have a little flower on so my right. It's like Hawaiian. Like, yeah. I love it. Okay. I want to start doing more henna on my right arm because my left one. I mean, pretty full. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Don't worry about it. Krista, what are your goals? Um, keep working out. I'm doing good. I've actually lost some weight, although I don't know exactly how much. Um, Feeling good? Oh, yeah. It feels great. I can tell my endurance is going up every time I do. Nice. Like, I can go for longer. Uh, goals. Continue working. Continue making those papers. Goals to get promoted. Goals to just generally make my life better. You know? Little things. Get your life. Mm-hmm. Uh, life's too short not to be the most badass you can possibly be. So. Boom. End mm-hmm. podcast. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming. Thank you for listening. It's been real. Yeah. Keep sending us some stuff you want us to talk about. Um, we still have an email account. It's, uh, let me double check. Sensecast or the Sensecast? I'm not sure. Oh man. Hold it's on. been too long. It is the sense cast, T H E S E N C E C A S T at gmail.com. We have an email. It's from Instagram. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Send us emails. Yeah, email us or message us on Facebook or comment on us or like us, share with your friends, you know, whatever. Um, Give us ideas. We don't want to be huge. We just want people to listen. Why not? So it's fun. It is pretty fun. Okay, keep it real. Bye. Bye. See you later.